<laughs> no. <laughs> I live here. He got, he got to take care of the girlfriend. <laughs> of course. Bye bye. Venga, hablamos. Ciao. Ciao. Hey. Hey, record, record this guy. <laughs> This is the worst thing of this building. We have two elevators, but there's no one button that you can call and, and the system control. So there's people that sometimes they call both. Yeah. You are going down, then it stops. Nobody. It stops. Nobody. Okay. I did it this. One day I stopped four times. Nobody. It's like. So I always try to call only one. Yeah. Thinking like. I don't like this, so I don't want to do this yeah, to them. Two pepper fried, big stick, and uh, strawberries with yogurt. Paul is going to say that I don't eat too much. <laughs> but we don't have to eat too much. The real thing is the style of food that uh, we have the habit to eat in Spain. Here is not the same because this of, I mean, if I want to eat pasta, I cook pasta. If I want to eat like some uh, fish or something like that, I cook on the way that I like. Oh, and yeah. uh, this is for me the, the real thing. And at the same time, when you come home and when you come home and you start like cooking, you relax. Yeah. On the way that we eat our our stomachs, it's like we train our stomachs. So that's why, for example, I don't eat too much rice because I don't feel like really good eating too much rice. Asia, Europe is different. Uh, when I go to the States, my stomach used to be really bad because it's like everything have a lot of sugar yeah. uh i remember especially when i was in japan like how how much they take care of the food having to try to have like uh fresh products and everything helps a lot but like daily life is like really easy to, yeah. maybe it's boring because you repeat the same things but we have to be thinking like this is not to a restaurant I don't know how people, when they go outside, how much they repeat the kind of food. There's one thing that I like to do every week, is once a week I go to eat sushi. It's not a special sushi place, but it's something that I know that I'm not going to cook. So go outside to eat something that you don't cook always. Is This has to be a slow cooker. This is another thing that I'm surprised here because you can find like good and fresh food and uh, people go like a lot to the McDonald's. I mean, for me, McDonald's used to be like the last option to eat something fast and you don't have time. I like more Burger King as a burger. I think that it's better. Japan, for some things, is like they waste plastic for everything. Plastic bags for everything. 7-Eleven, you buy something small, plastic bag. I was like, like, no, 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 I don't need. But here for me, it's happened the same. When I go uh, to buy fruit and like this, they gave me always plastic bag and I'm trying to go with the one and, and reuse. I like to go with my bag because I really feel like, Come on, why is plastic, 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 plastic? And then you see the sea full of plastics. And... and I don't cook too much, so. Perfect.
it's time to eat. This in Spain, when I cook like this, is uh, like bubble gum when you eat, and I like. After my lunch and uh, wash the dishes, time for a nap, so see you later. Okay, so I mean, this is a little bit my living room. I used to spend time and especially my naps on the, on the sofa, uh, watch the TV, not too much. Uh, most of the time I watch like some uh, news from Spain, uh, the Pili games, uh, and used to be between the sofa, between the table where I have the lunch, the dinner, uh, computer when I work, especially the, the days after, after games when I'm uh, working on the post-game video. Uh, used to spend most of my time here at home. I have a second room, it's waiting to my brother, it's coming next month to visit me, uh, with, especially with the flag of the Basque, uh, the Basque country, it's my region, it's where I'm born. It's uh, a lot of times when I say to the people that I'm not a Spanish, it's because I really don't feel like a Spanish. We have a little bit different, I say a lot of times how we have different language, different culture. That's why I feel really proud to be Basque and I keep the flag with me every time that I travel. And uh, the main room, there's nothing. I only come here to sleep. Uh, 9.30 to 6 a.m. This is my place to be sleeping. Uh, nothing more. And uh, especially the only thing that I try is I have the window open every, most of the time of the day to try to clean the air and, and have especially renewing the air to have everything like clean. And now, let's go to work. Me? Yeah. Long time ago. I, I mean, in, in Spain, play pro is, you have to be really good. Oh, okay. So that's not easy. Because the maximum, when I was 19, I played in uh, third division in Spain, but not mean, in Spain, we have a lot of divisions. So sometimes you are on a team, you promote, you promote, and, and but was a moment that I was playing, studying, coaching and one guy said me, hey, I think that you can be a good coach and they start paying me. <laughs> so I said, I was not thinking to be a professional coach. I like basketball, I was a study, I did my, my studies and I was thinking to have a regular job. Yeah. And at the same time, in my time, keep coaching because I like. Yeah. In my mind, every time that I'm working with a team, I'm thinking, I'm going to be five years kid. I have to help this guy to improve. It's how I see the things. It's how I feel like comfortable not thinking, no, 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 I mean, I'm. I'm living like day by day, but thinking like I have to build something. Because the real thing is, there's no any single team able to be built in one year. There's no any champion team build it in one year. That's why every time that I'm coaching, I'm thinking, except if you go for the team that the, really the base is set up, and okay, they were second, and then your goal is be first. This makes sense. But when you come from a team that, like, like we are coming, uh, with new rookies, young players, some players with not too much experience on, on professional league. I know that we need time and it's a process that I think that I know and a lot of times when I talk with Sean about the team, he understands that the team needs to be built it slowly. Maybe the first is um, we have some players coming from the university um, and the way that the university teams play is completely different on the way that your professional uh, teams play. A big example is how we change change up from being a four, trying to be a two more maybe his natural position. So the first thing is uh, understand how the speed of the game, 
how the moments of the games on a professional basketball is completely different. Some of them, they come from college, uh, and I ask one day to change that. It's like, how many close games you play in your life in college? And maybe it's like, I don't know, two, three. So when you arrive pro, this year we have uh, more than 10 games on plus less five points in last minute. So this is a close game where your decisions in last seconds are really important. And obviously, try to make them understanding how important is have good habits on how much you rest, how much you take care. I mean, one thing is what I do in my life. And at the same time, I can say to my players that I can be an example because look, I can do it. So you can do it. And this is maybe the first point and slowly try to teach them on how to play, how to take better decisions because the, the level of the decisions that we take on a game can be the difference to win one game by two points or lose by two points. I think that coaches and players, 95% of the time, they are never friends. And they don't have to be friends. Like when you work on a company, you don't have to be friend of your colleague. You have to be working and go for that. Exactly the same the players. Players don't have to be friends. Players have to understand that they are professional, they have to do a job as better as they can to be good for the team that they are playing and for their own careers. The only thing that I like is um, when I coach a player and I finish my career with this player, is I want to hear from my player that say, like, I, I was honest with him, I was treating him good, being kind, being respectful. I hope that he said, like, I teach him something. Nothing more than this. I don't have personal goals on this because I learned that I'm never going to be coaching on the place that I want. I'm going to be coaching on the place that they want me. So I, I, I don't have a chance to choose. Sometimes someone have a goal of, I want to work on this company and start sending like the, your curriculum. My goal is trying to be better, keep coaching. And uh, if I still have energy to be traveling far from my home, I will keep working. It's going to depend if someone thinks like I'm good enough for his team, for his national team, never depends on me. I have one thing clear, as, as better you work, you can arrive to better positions, but you have to try to do your best and don't be thinking in the future. I'm not thinking in more than the pilots at this moment because this is where I am. So I have to give back all this confidence that they gave me. And Dreams, if I have to dream, always we would dream big. <laughs> yeah. So where do you want to go? To? I want to be NBA champion, we can say. But this is a dream. Yeah. If it's a dream, but the real thing is, it's, it's not really something in our hands. I prefer to be focused on today, enjoy today, and don't look too much to the other things. I mean, because this is what I have today. Today I'm in the pilot, I'm in Taiwan, and I have to do my best here. Where I'm going to be, Honestly, don't depend on me. Depend on someone, take the phone, hey, we have this offer for you. Uh, this is how I feel. I mean, I appreciate a lot, but I, I, don't, I can only say thank you. When people say, okay, thank you, thank you. I mean, it's uh, appreciated, but nothing more. I mean, it's, it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's embarrassment a little bit, but it's not in my hands. I can't control what. At the same time that I cannot control if you think bad about me, I cannot control if you think good. Uh, obviously, I'm happy when people think something good because, but at the same time, it's like, oh, okay, but I mean, I cannot, I cannot do nothing on that. Only say thank you and, 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 and if they give me something, say thank you. If they want a picture, say of course. And, Mira, 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 que tengo, mira, mira el séquito. El séquito. To finish the day, 
time to watch the pelic. There we have Steelers Braves. <coughs> so I found this. <laughs> it only was to use the cash that I have in a, in a Singapore dollar. So I bought it. This kind of Shiva to uh, not having my dog here to remember that I can still have a dog. But now I have the pilot one. You can buy this, eh? Go to pilot shop. Like this. My fox. First day was um, March 3rd, uh, two years ago. Yeah. After COVID, uh, after, because in Spain we were like locked down for three months. So it was a moment that I really take the decision of, like, especially because I came from Japan to being alone. So I decided to adopt a dog to, okay, I want to, I will keep working overseas. But the problem was, was not easy to bring the dog to Taiwan. But the idea was, especially because I, I know, uh, I have some, play, some friends that they were like professional football players. And uh, when you are alone, far from home, far from your friends, like having a dog helps you a lot on your daily life and like this. So the idea was this. Unfortunately, I cannot have my dog here. I hope that in the future we can bring here and have uh, close to the bench on the games. This is a little bit my day, my daily life here in Taiwan. I, I hope that you enjoy watching the video. Uh, and I'm not going to say to all of you to wake up early to go to the gym, but uh, I'm going to say to most of you to try to have a like, healthy life and doing a sport because it's really good. And of course, keep supporting the pilot. Thank you for your time. Most of the fans, they give me food. So I used to share the food. One weekend, they gave me three bus cheesecakes. So I don't know if some fans think that I'm a little bit skinny and I have to win weight. And they are giving me too many food or too much food. But uh, I mean, I appreciate all these things. But uh, uh, some of the things I still have here, like, was really nice to see that, that they gave me with like trying to copy the photo that I have in my uh, Instagram profile account. And I mean, our, it's really nice to see how the, the fans uh, take care of the players, in this case, take care of me, but especially how they support not only in, uh, when we play at home, including when we play away. And, and it's really something like really, really to feel grateful.